we're going to Yellowstone. Get to ride in this really cool car with Lisa, the head of Yellowstone Forever, and spend the night at Yellowstone National Park. So I will show you what it's like to go see Old Faithful. Okay, so we made it into the park and we decided to make a couple pit stops along the way. It was only about 7.30 at night at this point, so there weren't a lot of people, which meant it was a great time to go see some of the more crowded places. Um, they get crowded during the day. So we stopped here. All of these geysers are at the Fountain Paint Pots Geyser Basin, heading into Old Faithful from West Yellowstone. Um, this is a really cool view of the next geyser. Golden Hour is a great time to see these geysers. We finally made it to Old Faithful Inn and I'm so impressed by the engineering of this huge wood structure. Um, there are lots of people here, it's definitely on season right now so it's pretty crowded and here I am just admiring more of that engineering marvel and then the rooms are pretty cute too. This part of the inn is over a hundred years old too which is cool but it was really giving me haunted house vibes. And then we got to go see the last eruption of Old Faithful at sunset. Uh, there was a pretty big crowd for this one. Old Faithful erupts every hour-ish, about 20 times a day. So you can catch it usually once an hour. And there's Lisa. Yellowstone morning coffee walk. Check. Waiting for Old Faithful to go off with my morning coffee. Quite the morning would recommend. Oh, here we go. I'm so impressed by the height of this geyser and if you watch when it erupts fully, you can see in the background the inn for scale and just how high this geyser actually goes. During a big eruption, the geyser can get up to 184 feet tall and can dispel over 8,000 gallons of boiling water. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and we have the place to ourselves. Nobody's out here on a Friday morning. So nice. Definitely would recommend getting out early. There's a couple, that's Infant Geyser. Here we have Vault Geyser, uh, a cool blue pool. So if you're visiting Yellowstone, get out early to walk the geyser loop for the Geyser Basin by Old Faithful, really cool. And then we'll go for our bike ride next. Here's Giantess Geyser. It's really fun. All of the geysers have different names which is fun. Uh, it's like a little attraction. Each one has its own personality, which is pretty cool. And there are several geyser basins in Yellowstone National Park. So you can spend all day looking at geysers. This one's called Tea Kettle Geyser. Pretty cute. These ones are more geysers and then you've got the bigger pools like Grand Prismatic. Pretty cool hole in the ground. So you can go see a lot of different things here depending on what you're looking for um this one is called pump geyser it's like a little pump pretty neat this is right by old faithful inn so you can stay the night wake up in the morning grab your coffee and walk around this nice loop on the boardwalk and go see all of your favorite geysers Sponge geyser. Double pool. Arm geyser. A baby one. Beach spring. Super cool. Ear spring. not a lot to see on the back part of this loop besides forest which is still really cool 
it's I think this loop it's a couple miles so it's a good morning walk um, good little hike if you're looking for it you can't run on this and you can't bike on it because we're on the boardwalk so it's more for slow traffic but it makes a good morning walk or a nice little gentle hike and we're almost to our next geyser which you can kind of see right there tally ho liberty pool tardy geyser don't know the name of this one penta geyser the big boy spasmodic Sawmill geyser, turn geyser, scalloped spring, and you can see all the unnamed geysers out there in the distance. Okay, we are making our way to Castle Geyser now. Here's South Scallop Spring. That one's pretty cool. Check it out. This geyser basin is huge. You can see all those geysers behind me. They all drain into the river. All of those geysers. And there's enough warm water draining into the river and all the natural springs that the river is actually super warm. Um, when you swim in it, it kind of feels like a swimming pool which is weird for a river in the mountains at 6,000 feet. Pretty neat. We are actually at 7,000 feet up here at Old Faithful and the Greater Geyser Basin. So if you aren't used to altitude, I would recommend that you be prepared to be a little out of breath on your small hike and morning coffee walk. Coming up on Castle Geyser now, Pretty steamy. This geyser is known to erupt for a long time. Crested pool. Apparently, crested pool geyser, it's not actually a geyser, but sometimes it can erupt, is one of the hottest pools in Yellowstone. Got some animal footprints. And sometimes animals and bison do fall into these geysers. Castle geyser going off. That concludes the walking portion of our geyser hunt. So now we are going to go get ready to bike, grab a bite to eat, and then head out to some of the other geyser basins around the park. We are going to go biking now and go find a couple other geyser basins, which should be pretty fun. We're on the road, got my bear spray. So I'm ready in case we see any bears. Hopefully we see some bison and we're back at Castle Geyser. So let's go find some other geysers now that we're biking. And this should be a pretty fun loop too. Made it to the first stop. Morning Glory, fantastic. We are cutting across now on this neat little gravel trail out to the next geyser basin and hopefully I won't need my bear spray. We got a bison crossing. I biked for about two hours, then I headed back to the inn to meet up with Lisa so that we could head back to Bozeman. We did see some elk, a nice elk family, so that was fun. And I would definitely recommend Yellowstone National Park 
and a fun geyser tour if you're looking for something fun to do this summer with lots of great running and biking, trails and roads all through the park.